Um, anyways, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, do you like the game Repo? You know, that fun, uh, quota horror game? What? He can shrink! Ah, no! What the fuck? No! What the fuck? Oh, my God. He just got diddied. I just witnessed He just that. got diddied. Kind of like Lethal Company, kind of like Phasmophobia. Do you like that game? Do you like mods for that game? Do you want mods for that game? Because I think you probably do. Uh, we'll stick around because I've got five must-have mods. But before we get to that, let's find out how to install mods for Repo, right? So what we have here is called the Gale Launcher, or the Gale Mod Manager, actually. Okay, on the first recording, I forgot to mention how to get Gale Mod Manager. So if you just go to Google or whatever search engine you like, go ahead and type in Gale Mod Manager. It's going to be the first link on the Thunderstore. You click that. Here it is right here, Gale Mod Manager. Uh, you're not going to click install with mod manager, right? Because we need a mod manager before we can install with mod managers. So just click manual download. It's going to download the executable file. Go ahead and run that. Go through the you know the normal setup process, blah, 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 and you're in. So this is very similar to R2 mod manager. If, uh, if you're familiar with R2 mod manager, with which we have over here, it does not, cur con uh, it does not currently support repo. Right, it's not available in the game, but there is another mod manager called Gale, Gale Mod Manager that does support Repo as well as pretty much every other game that R2 Mod Manager supports, and any game that you'll find on the Thunder Store. Um, the nice set, the nice thing about this is when you when you go to install it, it will prompt you to um, transfer all of your other mods from R2 Mod Manager. So it makes it super easy. It automatically detects any of the mods you, it should automatically detect any of the mods that you have installed. Um, before we get into it, I, walking my friends through this, there were some hiccups along the way. You might run into this, you might not. But the biggest thing is, if you have Steam installed on a hard drive, right? Let's say your C drive, but you install repo onto like a different drive, like your D drive or whatever you wanna name it, right? It might have problems detecting that game automatically. So there's an easy way to do that, right? So you're gonna you're gonna select repo from the de the drop down before you start installing any mods, getting any getting crazy or anything. Go ahead and try to launch the game first. See if it launches the game. If it doesn't launch the game, it says it's not found or whatever. Come to the gear icon here in the corner, uh, global settings here. Just make sure your uh, Steam uh, Steam library and Steam executable are automatically detected. If they're not, go ahead and fill those in with your the install location. And then come down here when you're in repo specifically, right? So make sure you select repo. And then when you hit click the gear icon, it'll give you the repo specific settings. If it doesn't launch, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to do your override location. And you're going to want to set your uh, repo install location right there and I'll show you how to do that here. Okay, so my Steam's gonna look a little different. I've got a custom um, client installed or it's a skin overlay thingamabob, whatever, right? But go ahead and go to your Steam library and you're gonna right click repo, manage, browse local files. That's gonna bring up your, your repo install location. If you're on Windows, you go ahead and click the top uh, URL bar. I, I don't know what they call it here. And just go ahead and copy that and then you can paste that into your um, into your Gale manager in your override location. So you'll click here, you'll click here at the top, paste it in, hit enter, and then hit select folder, and that'll set your location. I don't need to do that. Mine's all mine's working just fine, no problems. So that's how you get Gale set up for Repo, and you can do the same steps with all of your other games as well. So if you have Lethal Company, Content Warning, um, what whatever, right? Risk of Rain two. Uh, all, all of that supported natively um, with Gale. Really nice, really well made. I like I like the layout of this. Um, we can go ahead and go over some just some quick little you know key features, right? So just like R2 Mod Manager, if you want to um, share the mods that you're using with your friends, so you can all have exactly the same mods without creating like a specific mod pack, you can come up here to the top where it says Export, and you can export profile as code. Right, and this will give you a code to grab all of the mods that you're you're already using. Share that with your friends, and then they can come over here to the top, import import from code. And there's also um, an option to import profiles from R2 Mod Manager. So if there's some things that didn't transfer over for for whatever reason, you can go ahead and pull those over. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention in the first uh, recording of this was how to get mods. Right, so obviously you're going to select your your game of choice. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna have a few different tabs. Manage profile is going to be what you have currently installed. 
and you can have you can have multiple profiles so if you have different mod packs that you play with different friends you can uh go ahead and set those up here but i only have one one uh setup right now um and once you're here right your profile will normally be blank so you'll come over here to the come on browse thunderstore and this is where all the mods are and then you have obviously you know last updated newest highest rating and downloads you can search by search by and then there's some um filter options as well and this is where you'll find all the mods uh you go one one down from that and this is where you can configure mods that you currently have installed right so um, there are mods that give you like an in-game mod menu where you can do all this, but some of them aren't supported. So you can come over here and you can find some of your mods and tweak them that way. Not everything can be tweaked here. Some you still have to go into the the, uh, the configure file, which you can actually see up here at the top. It tells you where the location is for some of this stuff if you want to go through and manually configure and then down here is export mod pack this lets you publish your mod pack onto the thunder store so anybody can grab it and of course we have the gear icon which we already went through um yeah so that that's really that's the quick rundown of everything and then of course you'll hit launch game and make sure everything's working just fine all right so now you've got gale running hunky dory your game launched everything's everything's working good right no problem. What mods do we want to look at? So I've got five, I think, that'll really stand out. And we're going to go through them right now. All right, so first mod on the list is called Repo Server List. Now, this is a really nice mod, uh, especially if you have no friends like me. Or if you just have friends that aren't online and you're really craving that repo experience. But you don't want to go through the hassle of, like, finding a Discord and getting people together, blah, 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 right? You just want to jump in, find a server, find a lobby, get, get playing, right? So you want repo server list. And what this will do is when you're in repo, you can hit join game. And now you've got this menu that is not normally in the game. Hit refresh lobbies. And then what this is going to do is it's going to populate with a list of other people also using this mod, right? And depending on your time of day, you're going to have better, <laughs> good or worse luck than me. Um, right now it's like 3, 3.30 in the morning for me. So... Um, a lot of the people playing don't speak English, so you know you're gonna. It's a it's a choose your own adventure. See see how try your luck kind of thing, right? You might get lucky, you might not. Jump into some lobbies, say hello, see if people are talking, whatever. Um, great, it, it is a great option, and they the uh, developer does say they want to update the mod at some point in the future to allow for um, adding. Uh, the ability to kick players from the lobby. I don't know if that'll actually happen or not. Um, but yeah, cool, really cool mod. The one downside to this is if you have the mod installed and you hit host game, there's currently no way to prevent people from joining, right? Without uninstalling the mod. If you have the mod installed, your lobby is always open to the public. So that might be something you want to remember. Disable it when you're you're not planning on using it. And then just re-enable it whenever you do want to host a lobby or join a lobby. The next one I want to talk about is, uh, it's actually two, I'll, I'll, I'll combine these ones into like a, a double package, right? So it's going to be late join, which as the name kind of implies, it allows people to join the game late. So you've already started the game. Maybe you're, you, you finish one level or you're, you're on level six or whatever, right? But somebody says, Hey, I'm online now. I want to be able to play. Uh, you're going to be able to allow them to join with this mod, right? And they can join during the um, during the truck after the shop. So you, you buy all your stuff, you get in the truck, you hit send. Now you're in the truck where your items have appeared on the, on the floor or whatever. That's when they can join. And th this is really nice. This is kind of like, um, I think the mod is called Late Company for Lethal Company, where people are able to join you uh, in between like levels, basically. Really nice, really handy if people are um, you know, just late to the party. And the other one is um, uh, Brain Fart. It's called More Players. So, uh, again, on the uh, akin to just being able to play with people, uh, More Players allows you to customize your lobby size, right? I think the default is six. Um, you can, in theory, set this to, like, 100 if you really wanted to. Uh, I see most people set the lobbies to, like, 10 or 15, and that seems... I think 10 is, like, pushing, like, what becomes almost a nuisance to play but you know you decide for yourself how many people you want to play with and i think that's really cool that you can do that 
Next mod I want to talk about is called Team Upgrade. So when you're buying like your stamina boost, your health boosts, any of those upgrades, right? And I think this is a, a mod that really should be in the game by default. It should be like the default setting is when you, you when you buy those upgrades and you use them, everybody who has this mod installed also gets that upgrade. So if if one person grabs a health upgrade and they use it on themselves and they get plus whatever it is, like 10 health or whatever, everybody on the team who has that mod installed gets it. Uh, I, I'd like to see them actually incorporate that as a, a feature in the game later, but you know, for now, this is an option. It's a really nice option too. All right, next on the list is Toggle Mute. And this one's more for like, I think for like content creators, honestly, but I think anybody can really benefit from this. It's super simple. Um, Right now in the game, you have voice detection or push to talk, right? And those are your only two options. What I, what I like to see is toggled mute. So while you're in game, if you have voice detection, it automatically picks up your voice. But with toggled mute, you have the option of hitting the M key, which will mute your mic. And then you can unmute at any time, right? So if you want to talk to, if you're a content creator live streaming, and you want to talk to chat or or if you're, you know, your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, mother, dog walks in, you can talk to them without, you know, talking in game. Really useful if you're hiding, but you need to say something to someone who's not in the game and you don't want to get shot by the, uh, the blind hunter, you know, really helpful, really handy. And the last one I'll talk about is called keep my flashlight. I like this, y you know, you might have different opinions on this, but I like this is when you crouch in game, your flashlight automatically turns off by default with this one when you crouch your flashlight stays on which is really nice um none of the monsters as far as i can tell can see your flashlight and even if they can i don't think it would matter with this mod because i think it's all client side anyways all right you're the only one who can see your flashlight on while you're crouching i think it's just handy to be able to like look around while you're crouched figure out where you are what's going on in the world um yeah just a little, nice little quality of life uh mod and that, I believe, wraps up all five mods. Um, but there's tons of mods constantly coming out. In fact, just recently, um, recently up, not recently updated, but newest mods, we have Puppet, which I haven't had the chance to look into, but it's a custom enemy type. So that's going to be kind of cool. Uh, looks like there's another toggled mod there. Um, and there was one, where was it? There's one that, uh, yeah, it's called More Heads. So this gives you like some cosmetics that you can add in the game, which uh, there currently right now there are no uh, cosmetics in the game. So that might be a cool thing to have. So there's More Heads and then there's Even More Heads somewhere. Yeah, Even More Heads, which I assume just adds, like like it says, add several new models to the More Head mod. So yeah, tons of new mods coming out. Um, of course, there's like uh, translation mods all over the place. Um, and then yeah, there's even ones that like do stat tracking, which is cool. Uh, there's a better flashlight mod. I'm not, I'll have to look into that one, but might be, looks like you can set the brightness level. So yeah, just go through here, see what there is. Uh, what I recommend doing really quick while you're do, while you are scrolling through is there's an option to exclude mod packs. So people can publish their own mod packs where they compile things. Obviously you want to be able to see all the mods you're installing personally. Um, but maybe you're into just, you know, a pre-allocated amount of mods. So you can look at mo uh, mod packs individually if you want. But yeah, all kinds of stuff. There's uh, the fart grenade is, is hilarious. Uh, I have one where the um, the duck makes that classic yippee sound. Yeah, yippee duck. Um, which was big when the, um, the loot bugs were around in Lethal Company. So there's a lot of like crossover mods too, which is pretty cool. Actually, there even is a Lethal Company valuables which adds like all kinds of items from the game now i have been told and i haven't tried this one yet but i have been told that item mods are a little buggy and it might cause you to not be able to load into a into a match like you just get an infinite loading screen so keep that in mind you know try these all out see which ones work best for you there's some really cool ones out there um but yeah i think i've hit a Hit on a lot of the really nice mods, but there's plenty out there that are really nice as well. So, you know, just scroll through here, find out what you like, and give it a shot. I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you need any help figuring out the Gale Mod Manager, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll try to help you guys out in the comments. Uh, until next time, though, take it easy. Peace. Oh, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I, I gotta throw that in there, right? Okay.